Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Range Rover SV walk around and review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. It's very easy to confuse a full-size Range Rover for AA Range Rover SV. From the outside, the untrained eye will find it hard to distinguish the two apart from some exterior color changes, SV markings, and a subtle black and white Land Rover badge. Nonetheless, confusing the two would be akin to getting on a Qantas A380 and thinking business and first class are the same thing. The reality is that the SV variant takes all that is great about the regular car and brings it to a level you'd expect to see from a Rolls-Royce or Bentley. In fact, the new Range Rover SV sees its ultra-high-end British rivals offerings and ups the game. Prior to the launch of the Cullinan, one could refer to the old Range Rover as the Rolls-Royce of SUVs, well, that's probably again the most apt way to describe the fifth-generation model in its highest form. Land Rover has also repositioned the SV brand, ridding itself of the confusion caused by having SV, SVA, and SVR. Going forward and starting with the new Range Rover SV, the Special Vehicle Operations Unit will amplify the very best of that vehicle when it takes it to the SV level. So, in the case of this new Range Rover it will amplify the luxury aspect. In the case of the upcoming Range Rover Sport SV, it will be about taking its sporty and dynamic capability further. All that aside, one must open the door of the Range Rover SV to really feel that sense of wow. The Range Rover SV exists to present what is currently the best interior of any luxury SUV in the market. It's a fully customizable tour de force that is more than just latest tech or superb craftsmanship, it's a culmination of what it takes to please those that are willing to fork out $400,000 and above for an SUV. Not many cars elicit an audible sense of astonishment when the doors open, but couple your top-spec Range Rover with the optional SV Signature Suite for seat configuration and we can all but guarantee that you won't want to ever leave the back seat. Perhaps therein lies the only problem with owning a Range Rover SV, the one you want is best enjoyed from the back seat, and while Australians categorically love to drive themselves, in this case, we suggest it might be time to enjoy the epitome of luxury motoring and let someone else do such menial tasks as driving, at least sometimes. There are a fair few ways in which you can have your Range Rover SV. Prices start at $341,300 before on-road costs for the most affordable SV, which is a standard wheelbase. There's a roughly $45,000 price hike to the long wheelbase, and then there are a range of engine options from the D350 twin-turbo six-cylinder diesel to the P530 twin-turbo petrol V8. There are two optional exterior and interior themes to pick from for your SV. Both exterior packages cost a fairly reasonable $5,590. SV Intrepid Exterior Range Rover script with two-tone graphite atlas inserts and anthracite gloss surround. Metal-plated two-piece upper grille with anthracite finish and graphite atlas surround. Metal-plated front bumper with upper accents in anthracite finish and lower accent in graphite atlas. Metal-plated door gills with anthracite finish inserts and painted graphite atlas surround. Metal-plated rear fender ingots with graphite atlas finish metal-plated lower tailgate finisher in anthracite finish. SV Serenity Exterior Range Rover script with two-tone painted Corinthian bronze inserts and satin silver surround. Metal-plated two-piece upper grille with atlas silver finish and painted Corinthian bronze surround. Metal-plated front bumper with upper accents in atlas silver finish and lower accent in painted Corinthian bronze. Metal-plated door gills with atlas silver finish inserts and painted Corinthian bronze surround. Painted rear fender ingots in Corinthian bronze finish.